nice. Which means you have a bigger territory to defend. Soon. Including that piece over here. No, that piece. Uh-huh. They might try to attack here now, but since we're already attacking anyway, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> and I should probably switch these guys to crazy mode. So I don't have to watch all the different front lines that are appearing here. Without an attack order. What do you want? Yeah, do it. If you think that's a good idea. Also, we did want to change our destroyers. Dang it. You distract me. <laughs> Okay, what can we do here? Anti-air is good. Definitely, we want that. Torpedoes gives you what? Torpedo attack, yeah, that makes sense. Anti-submarine warfare is good. Well, they're already pretty good at that. Engine. Speed, we don't really need speed. Range, obviously, yes, please. A little bit might be nice. Plus 0.8? Really? Wow. To balance out that. That's good. I like it. It's a little bit slower than... It could be, but then again, we're using these battleships. Uh, speed? Am I just as stupid to see it? There, 20 knots. So, as long as I have to screen for those, being 37 knots is actually quite fine, I think. Uh,. You go away, and you are the ones we want. Yes, please, I don't care how much we produce out of that. But thank you. That uses up a lot more resources. How are we doing on resources? Not that great. There's nothing more we can get here. Um, yeah, you know. Just get all the rest we need from there. At least we have the oil. So we're only short on rubber. Which means... Things should start happening again. You need the rubber, and that just says, lack of resources, 100%, we're not going to do it. I don't know, whenever that happens, I just wish they would dedicate just, like, one rubber over here, so we get a 60% penalty, and then another one would have a 20% penalty or something, instead of gobbling up the rubber up here, and not having it where we need it. That's looking good. Also, planes. Oh, that's bollocks. These airports are bollocks. So is that. Not much we can do. Have you been bombed? I thought you were... 1,200. The thing is, as soon as this is overcrowded... I have a mission efficiency of zero. Minus 100% just because it's overcrowded. It's not like minus 90% or minus 99%. No, it's just they're there, but they're not doing anything. And they're not telling you anywhere. There's no pop-up. Um, there's a pop-up for planes in reserves and for planes not having a mission assigned, but not for planes being in an overcrowded airbase. Which is bollocks. It doesn't help me. Oh, we ran out of front lines. that and then wrap around and go what are all the tanks everybody see is anyone trying to go by sea I sure hope not you in there you like this you like this 
You could probably help with the fort. And you can probably help here. And, hmm. Oh, there's a port down there. Just want to say, we could have this whole thing in circuit. That would be nice. You. Come here on the fastest route you possibly know how to take. Well, in that case, go this way. That cuts it off here. This is non-friendly territory for all of us. Uh, you come in here and go straight through here. Well, actually, actually, you go here. You go here. No, here. And that cuts them off from the port. And then we have these 17 encircled. If we're lucky. Thank you very much for that. Keep on going. How are we doing in terms of getting our refineries up? We have 55 nukes, goddammit. Wow, we're still producing reactors. Sure! Uh, macro for the win. Thank you. Also, how about support? It's looking good. You need a little bit. That's not that important because nobody's in there. Oof. That's decent. Yeah, I can live with that. Wanna nuke somebody. <laughs> Wanna nuke somebody! These guys come down here. Sooner or later we will hook up the front line over here and have just one front line and just push them down. Yeah. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Whatever floats their boat. Come on. Mm -mm. Don't file out. Don't you go all run away on me. It's not what we've discussed. Okay, in a second. And I've decided we need to make this pocket a little bit bigger than initially planned. Do something like this. Yes, port, get. Nice. Where's that tank? Are you running away already? Oh, you haven't even arrived yet. I get it. Well, we're not getting in there, it seems, so now we are. But we're definitely holding here. And that's all that matters. 24 divisions, 16, that's 40. Yep, that's almost 50 divisions. And they're completely encircled. <laughs> you guys. We're uh, gonna go here. And you're gonna go here. Oh, what now? Why? Is that an actual justification or is that a focus? No, that's an actual justification. Look at that. Oh, and that will fire in a heartbeat. <sighs> they only have one area where they can attack. And that's over here. If you look at this map, but then... Yo. No, they have all the area. Great. Crap, how are we gonna handle that? <sighs> Why are you doing this? Can I get a non aggression pack real quick? No. I can nuke the crap out of you. If I get air superiority, that is. Still working on that. 96%. Uh, that's all done. Still working on that. I'm not gonna do much else. You've been worked on.
Let's get that out of the way. Well, this is gonna be fun. You're still working on your first deployment there? <laughs> yeah, you just stay there, have fun. It's a national unity. 55%. If I can nuke that down enough, we just need to take this part. Just. I mean, the, pff, it's just the Soviet Union. It's just 400 divisions. Probably not the worst ones either. Service by requirement, okay. A lot of manpower. I don't like what I'm seeing here. And that's common turn down here. Uh, when did that happen? So basically, we need to pull out of Africa again. Set up a defensive line over here. Let the allies do whatever they want. And then set up against Russia and fast. Well, that's great. That is so exactly super great. Okay. Well, let's set that up. Where's that front line? I know tanks and mountains doesn't usually go well, but I want tanks over here so we can push in from here. So India is not yet an issue. I hope it will not become one. If we can push in here and just come around, like up until that part, we have them all encircled. Granted, we have them encircled in that part that is actually completely in supply because Moscow is supplying them. But they can't go anywhere. And then we can crush them in the middle. And the more territory we take, the less factories they have to resupply themselves. Okay, tanks, yeah, you definitely need to come up here, like, right now. Uh, which means we need to delete all the other front lines for tanks that we have. Probably should have done that first. There. Yeah. Okay, that should be that. So all of you hold railroad here. That also prevents them from going by sea, which is a good idea. And you guys... I don't like this a single bit. Okay, delete all the orders. <laughs> and now we do this again. Come up here. Everybody. Now, are these partners in the common turn? Probably. They're probably gonna join, right? They're not puppets, I hope. Because then they join immediately. Uh, puppet. You're not. Well, we will see. Unfortunately, we will see. <laughs> um. Yeah. I mean, these front lines will consolidate eventually. Anyway, I just want to have the troops there. Well, let's take half of you, 36, on this. Less than half, a quarter of you on there. And I'm just gonna do something like this. Don't care. At least it remembers where you draw the line, so whenever all of this goes into a war state, um, the, the line will be rejuvenated. Same here. Hmm, take that one. Why not? Doesn't matter. Uh, you guys, you don't need a plan right now. So, whatever it is you're doing, hold. Railroad. 
here and then distribute and do that before Christmas. That would be cool. Yeah, they're all getting returned. That is so not nice. At least there's still a buffer here to India, so even if we capitulate the Soviet Union, we don't have to fear that India actually has access to our territory. Oh, it does. Because China. Pfft. Unless we puppet China and don't call it into the war. That's also a thing. We'll see. Okay, so that set to go. You're on defensive. You're on regular attack mode, that's good. Now we need more troops. What are we gonna do with you guys? There are still troops here. These guys will stay where they are. There's just no way around that. We had a landing already, I don't want to have a second one. And the rest, just pull back. There's nothing we can do. We're gonna have to do it all over again. Not you, you. Uh, but without churning out a bunch of troops right now, I don't see how we can hold this effectively. There is still a chance that they won't push back. There's a chance that the Soviet Union will just overrun us. Crap. Uh, you're... No. Stop it. You are still going to do this. I don't care. I want this deleted from the map. And then you, you see that you get to your posts. Alright. Uh, that also means we need to extend a little bit up here probably. Because the Russians might actually want to try and land here. But well, that should be good for now. Alright, well... May the clusterfuck begin. Oh, yeah, let's move our Air Force. Everybody. Everybody that we have goes here for now and then we see what we do with you all here battleship Go away next all right so 600 there that we could use we do need fighters over here means we take the other fighters over somewhere fairly central. How about here? Over that area. Then you guys go here. And you guys go here. Strategic bombers? Well, they're almost in range from where they are, so we don't need to move them much. How about we put you here? In the transport wings we just yeah, you you stay home. Don't need you. Seems like our naval bombers, yeah, you're done for. All fifty lost. Well Sure, send me divisions that you want to have back in a second. Why not? Oh, you're actually making one. Look at you. Okay, then we wait until we get better ones before we actually upgrade. Otherwise, none get done. How's our navy doing? 18 ships. A couple of light cruisers, mostly destroyers, and the big battle cruiser. Still can't get in there, but at least you can't get out. Do I want them up here? That's the big question. It's probably worthwhile having them up here and just do convoy raiding and all the stuff because this is where they should get their supply in for most of the things. 
nah, I'll just you know, stay where you are. Okay, you. You have planes in reserves. We have a couple of fighters in reserves. Yeah, we are going to deploy those fighters. Probably going to do the manpower trick once more. Uh, let's put some more fighters in here. As soon as I find them. Fighter 3, Mark 1. That's the one. You. You will do this over here. So that's one air zone covered, that's another air.